Please take your seat. Nice. Very, very good morning. Shuvankita, yes. first of all, tell me something about yourself, but uh, which is not mentioned in this, your diet. Yes, sir. Anything sir. else about your hobbies and about uh, your thinking towards the women, society of Bihar and your value, your, your culture, etc. Yes, sir. So, uh, while I was doing my course in agriculture, I was very much attracted towards working for farmers. But sir, later on I discovered that there are certain market linkages issues because we are doing well with production. So, uh, when I was studying sociology, I got aware with the society of Bihar. What are the issues, sir, which leads to lack of technological adaptation of, from the farmers? So, uh, when, I'm given, when I will be given the opportunity to work in Bihar, I think I will work in that sector. And sir, also my earlier experiences lie with working, at, working with Jeevika as a block project manager. So, I want to work in women empowerment as well. Okay. In Bihar, uh, yes, as you say, maximum farmers are marginal. Yes, then how they will use modern technology for the, uh, for the development of agriculture? Can you suggest me any roadmap for this? Yes, sir. I will uh, try to give certain uh, solutions. So, there are farmers who are small and marginal. But then uh, we can go for working in cooperatives. We can also set up a farmer producer organization where the inputs can be pulled up. And so government is also providing um, machine subsidies on machineries. So also uh, there is a concept which is called a CHCs. So their machineries are also given in rent. So sir, I think that we can encourage the farmers to go forward for mechanization so that they can get the yield as well for the input cost they are paying. What are the hurdles behind it? Government is already doing Yes, sir. As you are told me. Yes, I understand. But sir, then farmers are not encouraged due to. I'll, I'll, can I give an example? Okay, no issue. Please, so, so ahead. while we were working in Jivika, we were encouraging them for zero tillage practices. Although we were providing them the machinery, sir, I think there is lack of trust uh, from the extension activities. So, for, sir, first we need to build trust in the farmers that whatever technology we are suggesting, that will do good to them. So, because they are, as far as my limited experience says, they are wanting to adapt the technology, they are wanting to spend also. But sir, there is erodibility of trust, I think. Okay. Your option is sociology. Yes, sir. So, tell me something about uh, structural functionalism. Yes, sir. So, so MN Srinivas uh, gave the concept of structural functionalism. Sir, so in that concept, he studied caste from its structural aspect also, not just the functional aspect. Sir, so in structural aspect, he basically uh, studied the relationship between the social groups per se caste. Anything else? What about R.K. Martin? Yes, sir. So, R.K. Martin was also a structural functionalist. So, so he basically, uh, he was, he basically said that, uh, Everything should not be studied from functional aspects. So he also gave the dysfunctions of uh, dysfunctions, and he also gave three uh, postulates which challenges the functional utility concept. Then, sir, indispensability of uh, functions. And what about latent and manifest function? Yes, sir. So, sir, uh, R. K. Martin gave this concept of latent and manifest function. So, latent manifest function is a intended consequence of any social action. And sir, uh, latent function is unintended consequence of any social action. He explained it by giving the example of sir, hoppy uh, dance group. Yes. So, where he said that people are dancing in uh, because they are wanting to please the rain god. But sir, the latent function is it is also serving as social integration and solid, uh, solidarity for the society. Can you explain the concept of ideal type of Max Weber? Yes, sir. Please. Uh, so, uh, Max Weber gave the ideal, uh, he has uh, prescribed ideal types for any social action. So, ideal types is basically a mental construct where he has uh, given uh, a highest perfection of any social action. So, he has uh, one uh, very famous ideal type which he has uh, studied is uh, Protestant ethics and spirit of capitalism. And sir, so also he has given ideal type of bureaucracy. Could you explain it? Yes, sir. Please. Uh, sir, um, ideal type of bureaucracy, Weber has given us, if I am not wrong, six uh, functional attributes of uh, bureaucracy. 
so uh, the first one is that bureaucracy operates on set legal uh, rational rules so it operates on written records then so there is a um, hierarchy of positions and they are paid uh, officials and uh, sir every work done in uh, bureaucracy is uh, written and recorded in writing okay then what is trend in cap city trend in cap city this is also related with the uh, bureaucracy sorry, trend sir. in cap city sorry sir i'm unable to okay no issue very good yes sir ankita very interesting you have got uh, you have done agriculture science isn't it right so i expect you can tell me about what is codex alimentarius have you heard of this yes sir you i have, have heard of it right uh, yes sir i read it in current affairs also oh. sir is it related to mapping of dna it is related to food security food safety yes i am unable to recall no issue, no issue. No, sir. do you go through newspaper yes sir what is the india's rank in global hunger index yes sir so the present uh, global hunger ranking which came is 130 Are you and sure? Is it 111? Today's newspaper says it is 111, right? No okay. other news. But still, we are <coughs> so below 113, and it doesn't matter. But we are, we are so low, huh? There is a cute scarcity of hunger. So, what is the global hunger index, or which parameter it is by? Yes, also the so global hunger uh, global hun hunger index is so basically on different parameters hmm. like undernutrition. Wasting, overnutrition, and stunting. Overnutrition. Yes, sir. Sure. There are four parameters: child mortality rate. Child mortality. Yes, sir. Child right. mortality. Right. Uh, wasting and stunting. Right. And there is one more. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Now, uh, questions that I answers that you give. And suppose you are posted in a district where you yes, find there is a uh, people are not getting nutritional food. No, yes. they are getting food from the uh, Russian shops, which is PDS public distribution system. Only takes care about the wheat and the rice, right? Yes. That means they are given too much of starch and not given enough protein. Yes or no? Yes. Food, protein, minerals, vitamins, they do not get, and therefore there is health related issues. Yes. Now, being an officer who is in charge of almost everything in the district, yes. what major steps can you take in this directions? Yes, sir. Hmm. So, so the first thing is I will generate awareness towards the towards the nutritional requirement. Hmm. So, second thing is I will encourage them for using millets in their diet hmm. because as our honourable prime minister has also launched certain hmm. uh, movements, which yeah. he has uh, described millets as superfood. Hmm. So, I will go forward for that. And hmm. so, third thing is that I will encourage them to stop because I have noticed one phenomena that everybody is spending per day, no matter hmm. what their uh, economic status is. Uh, rupees ten on chips and uh, biscuits for their children. Hmm. So, sir, I will encourage them to incorporate uh, one banana at least in their diet. Hmm. Because, sir, even in midday meals, uh, they are getting uh, one fruit and hmm. eggs. Hmm. So, I will encourage the parents to include that in their children' diet, hmm. and also, sir, for women. Uh, they must take iron supplements so mm. i think i will encourage them and i will mm. tell them that what are the advantages of health mm. sir if health is not good then they cannot afford their livelihood but this mm. we understand but they think that no it's fine they can eat if rice if you suggest them for the millets they uh, do not like they likes pizza burger chow yes, mein sir. and gulgappa also yes sir so why mm. i was uh, how you change the mentality of that individuals Yes, sir. So, so while I was posted and we were working extensively in uh, with the farmers, so they uh, used to say that ये तो गरीब लोगों का खाना है. So they they attach it to a reference group. और वो लोग अमीर लोगों का खाना खाना चाहते हैं जो गरीब हैं. So, so we can. अगर हम लोग कहो कि ये आप मिलेट खाना चाहते हो, आपको मिलेट खाना चाहिए. तो क्या बोलेंगे? तो हम लोग generation to generation खाते आ रहे हैं. Yes, अब हम लोग थोड़ा सा एडवांस होना चाहते हैं तो शाम को चाउमीन मिल जाए बर्गर मिल जाए और पिज्जा मिल जाए पिज्जा तो खैर नहीं बॉटम लेवल पे मिलेगा लेकिन चाउमीन बर्गर इजिली हाँ। अवेलेबल होता है और आप जानते हो कि वो बहुत हेल्दी नहीं है फिर भी वो बहुत प्रीफर करते हैं और उनको बाकी चीजें रात में खाना ना मिले कोई दिक्कत नहीं अगर चाउमीन मिल जाए तो दे बहुत लाइक करते हैं मेंटेलिटी कैसे चेंज होगी 
seniors, right? And then the same problem is still there in your mind. Now you are in a position to affect policy decisions regarding to food. Yes, sir. Have you understood the difference? Yes, Earlier you were in charge of a district. Now you are in charge of a state, right? The entire state we have. Yes, hmm? There is a poverty and everything, malnutrition, and now what will be your approach? So uh, the first thing that I can incorporate the healthy diet in the food that is given by Anganwadi centers. So right. second thing is I, I will incorporate civil society organizations also. Like there are several NGOs who are working for uh, mm. children and women. Right. So I will monitor their work. Like I was thinking why not to have fortified foods, right? Even the wheat these days, they will come in the different color, right? Which uh, wheat will be have, they will have protein and vitamin. There is a research going on, right? Like we had the problem of thyroid, right? So I what iodized salt we introduced, yes. right? And we come in completely banned. And the problem of thyroid, you have, you, you must not have seen it. Yes, sir, but we have seen that eradicate. women walking with the protruded glands here. Yes. So a simple innovation solved the problem. As green revolution solved the problems of starvation. There is no starvation. Everybody gets food at least. Right? As per the international standards, we have some grains everybody has. But we do not have balanced diet. Now, how do you introduce? Ah, this is what I was thinking. Can we have a fortified food? Because your knowledge would come handy. Ah. Yes, sir. So, uh, sir, as far as um, I know, a government is providing fortificate, uh, fortified rice to the farmers. Hmm. So, but uh, as you, uh, as uh, we were talking about wheat, so there are certain challenges when it comes to fortification of agriculture products. Hmm. So, first thing is that um, it is expensive, hmm. and so second, we have not researched well regarding the overall health impact on the hmm. product. Hmm. And sir, so also we are doing uh, fortification of rice and hmm. wheat, so it may kill the wild varieties of the. Um, Oh, so, so we have but, a challenges of genetically modified crops. Yes, sir. But definitely, right? this fortification is, is dangerous in the long run. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. <clears throat> now there is one more thing that I want to I want to have knowledge from you. Right. You said you will encourage cooperative farming. Right. Yes, now this is uh, people cannot stay together in a family. How do you think they can come at the large stage? Cooperative farming is a big failure in the soft country like India. Cooperative farming is a feature of hard state, like it is successful in Russia, it is successful in China, but not successful in India. Huh? Has it, is it successful? See, cooperative farming is a very concept which has failed over time. I would uh, sir, slightly um, beg uh, to differ from you. So, we are, I don't, uh, like we are working very well when it comes to dairy cooperatives. Like mm. even in, uh, not just Gujarat sir, even uh, in Nalanda we saw how dairy cooperatives have scored one rank when it comes to milk production. Uh, but sir, when it comes to agriculture production, you have rightly stated sir, there uh, is problems with cohesion. Uh, but sir, I think the basic problem with cohesion lies in insufficiency of funds there. Mm -hmm. So, because uh, just because we are not uh, able to get timely supply of funds, and so there is management issues as well. Mm -hmm. So, how can we expect a farmer to manage such a large organization? Mm -hmm. So, if we if the KV uh, like if the Krishi Vigyan Kendra mm -hmm. and the Atmas come together and mm -hmm. they provide them a certain level of training, so I think we can do wonders. Mm -hmm. Okay, first explain it. Farmer producer organizations, yes, and then. Share some of your experience in the light of the work experience that you have. Okay, sir. Uh. So, uh, so farmer producer organization is a legal entity mm. where uh, they are they are being registered and mm. it operates as a company. Mm. So, so now farmer organization, uh, farmer producer organization can work in everything. Suppose farmer for producers input, now farmer yes, producers sir. means the end user of the product. You mean to say? Uh, no, sir. I would like to explain. Huh. Sir, farmer producer means that farmer is a producer. Hmm. Now, farmer will take uh, hold of everything like from arranging the inputs, hmm. from arranging the market for himself. Hmm. So, what happens is so there, there is mass procurement of all the produce direct from the farm gate. So, we are hmm. not having any trader, no middleman is involved. Hmm. Even so, when it comes to input, hmm. if so many farmers are buying together, sir, we see that they have a bargaining power as well, which they hmm. do not get when it comes to traders. Individuals, sir. right. Yes. Huh. So, what, uh, what we provide is that uh, like my experience was in Nalanda when I was doing a training in Jivika. Mm. Mm. So, so what they were doing is, as we know that Nalanda is a 
a, a good producer when it comes to fruits and vegetables and also mm. pulses. Mm. So many farmers used to come and they used to gather their produce and then we used to sell it to different collaborations per se. Uh, Nabad mein bhi jata tha bahut sara products and there were very uh, many food processing industries mm. where their products were given. Mm. And so one challenge of food processing industry is that they are not able to get timely raw produce. Mm. What if we collaborate uh, from an in any FPO because an FPO gives them that trust. Mm. He yes, aapko ye produce timely mil jayega. Mm. So waha se wo backward linkage bhi aata hai aur forward linkage bhi aata hai. Forward linkage jata hai. Industry yes. will have and the collective bargaining. Okay. Uh, uh, last question from my side. <coughs> Just now you had spoken the trust. There is a lack of trust and there is some problem you said, right? Did you say trust? Yes. Right. Yes. Now trust I believe is a public good. We huh? Bel believe in government because we are at least sure that nothing like Hamas will happen in the country. Like nothing because there is a government. We have a security of uh, no, uh, We have a security services. There is army and border police and all those, right? This is a trust. We trust in the government, right? We do not like to pay taxes huh? because we do not have trust in the government that our fund would be utilized properly, right? There is a lack of trust. Like I would not like to pay taxes. I would like to avoid paying taxes because I feel that the government indulges in a lot of wasteful expenditure. It, it, it indulges in three ways, which is not good according to me. Now, this tax evasion. Now, this leads to the problem of tax evasion. Are you getting my point? Yes. Now, my question is, how do you build that trust? How the government can build that trust with the public? Yes, sir. So, mm. yeah, uh, trust is a long-term process, as mm. we know, sir. Mm. But then, uh, trust can be built up by civil so with the help of civil society organizations, with mm. long-term campaigns mm. and so laws. Mm. Without a strict enforcement of laws, I think trust is difficult to build. Like you, uh, like uh, about the tax. Laws are already there, but we do not have trust. I have to pay tax. If I do not pay tax, I will be arrested. Or there will yes. be, um, there will be inquiry against me, right? So probably. Law, trust is, no. if I am paying the money to the government, I must feel that my money is being utilized properly. Yes. Right? Yes. So uh, uh, probably, uh, uh, probably government should come up with certain transparency and accountability measures. Governance. They, it's yes. a question of governance. Okay, that's that's fine. Uh, I am done. Then shall we go? Telling about uh, some importance, uh, Karpuri Thakur. Yes, sir. So uh, Karpuri Thakur was a leader uh, of Bihar who has led the uh, revol re backward class uh, revolution. Anymore. He's also known as Jan Nayak. Oh. Uh, already your subject uh, agriculture and rural management. Yes, sir. How can you use Bihar yes, agriculture and rural management? Yes, so, uh, as the economic survey also states that 70% of the population in Bihar is dependent on agriculture. And so, we have uh, much natural resources to uh, increase our agriculture production and productivity. So, so my agriculture knowledge can help the farmers with the technical know-how of the technologies per se, drip irrigation, then sprinkler irrigation, which the government is also doing. And so my study of sociology can basically has helped me to understand the society of Bihar. So that can help me in encouraging them for uh, technological adaptations. Can you explain cropping pattern? Yes, sir. So, sir, cropping pattern is basically a sequence of uh, the arrangement of crops in a year on a piece of land. Okay. Uh, my next question is I please conflict. Tell me about. Yes, sir. So, uh, recently uh, on 7th of October, we saw. Geopolitical. Yes, sir. So, um, uh, our, our country has a strongly condemned the terror attack by Hamas. And it and the Prime Minister has tweeted that he has expressed solidarity with Israel. Now, sir, uh, the geopolitical interest, first thing lies is that Every time in every plot platform, our country has condemned terror attack. So it has stayed with that stand. So uh, the basic issue arising here is that um, uh, earlier we, we were supporting the issue of Palestine. But now the Prime Minister has conveyed this solidarity with uh, Israel because of various national interests also. We know that the true wisdom lies in staying tuned to the national interest. 
our strategic interest lies much with israel because it has uh, we have so many collaborations with israel in israel in defense sector sir in agriculture sector and also the recent uh, i2u2 initiative plus uh, the recent announcement of uh, uh, middle east economic corridor which will connect uh, which will connect india and europe uh, and it will pass through israel so these are the issues as far as humanitarian grounds is concerned sir even in russia ukraine and even in uh, palestine or israel we have always aided whenever there is humanitarian crisis so i think okay my last question uh, tell me about uh, some important uh, bokaro yes sir so uh, bokaro is famous for steel city plant uh, sale steel authority of india limited and so uh, then it is famous for uh, certain kind of tourism also like jagannath temple is there one thing which i can recall is it is an education hub so everybody from bihar jharkhand craves for studying in dps and preparing for iits and neat in bokaro only okay if we see in dairy sector cooperative societies are successful in everywhere in the country in gujarat and you already told about the in bihar also but why uh, in agriculture sector cooperative societies are not so uh, successful yes sir so uh, i would state three reasons for it huh. first is sir yes. inefficient manpower utilization second is lack of training uh, training to them and so third is uh, issue of funds funds and infrastructure but some farmers are also involved in the dairy activities that's why uh, in dairy sector they are successful why yes. not in agricultural sector yes sir because uh, uh, as far as my understanding goes sir uh, dairy and livestock at the time we started promoting them we have promoted it as an enterprise but sir when it comes to agriculture in india agriculture is seen as a subsistence method of agriculture so if i i been given an opportunity i will also uh, promote agriculture as a enterprise as a business ent- entity which can give farmers profit say someone is work uh, opening a cloth store they can earn profit but farmers do not believe that if they do agriculture then they can become uh, billionaires so i think that's the issue okay i am seeing your extra curricular activity as a public speaking so uh, as a bureaucrat as an officer as an officer you will meet different sections of the society of bihar then how will you communicate with them sir. can you uh, give me a specific manner yes sir okay please i will try sir okay so uh, whenever there is a large gathering first i will try to uh, greet different sections of society okay like labor class officers class public uh, leaders ministers layman okay okay sir so i'll go section wise okay yes please uh, so if i am interacting with the labor so so first thing is that i will try to listen to uh, i will try to listen to them that what are their concerns then uh, so the first thing they will say is as far as my experience is ki ma'am they are not familiar with english language okay <laughs> yes i'll uh, begin in hindi sorry sir uh, so uh, i'll start namaste आप लोग कैसे हैं सब कोई तो दे विल वहां से रिप्लाई आएगा आराम से हां वहां से मैं लेबर से बात कर रहा हूं दैट्स व्हाई आई एम आई एम सेइंग मैडम मुझे तो ये स्कीम uh, का हम लोगों को नहीं मिला है हमारा ये रजिस्ट्रेशन नहीं हुआ ई श्रम में आपने बताया था कि इतने लोगों का रजिस्ट्रेशन हो जाएगा मुझे हुँ. इतना जॉब मिल जाएगा हुँ. तो मैं उन लोगों से बात करूंगी पहले मैं उन लोगों को बताऊंगी कि आप लोग आए थे उस दिन जिस दिन रजिस्ट्रेशन हो रहा था तो हाँ मैडम आए थे तो फिर क्यों नहीं हुआ तो हम लोग 12 बजे आए थे तो अच्छा तो फिर ये लोग चले गए थे तो देन आई विल टॉक टू माय कंसर्न अथॉरिटीज कि क्यों नहीं हुआ देन मैडम मनरेगा का तो पैसा अभी तक नहीं आया है आप काम दिलवाएगा आप बोलिएगा नहीं दिलवाए आप आप लोग ऐसे ही करते हैं हमेशा आते हैं बोलते हैं कुछ मिलता नहीं है हम लोगों को देन आई विल से कि ऐसा नहीं है हम लोग आपके सेवा में ही है अगर हम आज यहाँ पे खड़े हैं तो हम आपके लिए खड़े हैं मैं पूरी कोशिश करूंगी कि अब मैं अपने टीम से बात करूंगी और आप लोगों को जो भी असुविधा हो रहा है वो मैं सुलह करने की कोशिश करूंगी अब ठीक है लेबर क्लास अदर सेक्शन सोसाइटी वेमेन यस प्लीज 
I will take the example. Suppose I have to encourage them for insurance. Like no issue. Please go yes. ahead. So, uh, namaste. कैसे आप लोग खाना वाना हो गया सब बन गया? हाँ जल्दी बोलिए अब हमलोग को ज़्यादा time नहीं है घर जाना है. नहीं नहीं बस आप लोग थोड़ी देर मेरा मेरी बात को सुनिए आप लोगों के लिए हम हैं आपके सेवा में आप बस पांच मिनट मुझे अपना समय दीजिए मैं चाहती हूँ कि आप लोग प्रधानमंत्री सुरक्षा बीमा के अंतर्गत बारह रुपए मात्र बारह रुपए का आप लोग ये योजना को करवा लीजिए नहीं इससे कोई फायदा नहीं होगा पिछले बार तो वो मरे थे तो कोई क्लेम नहीं मिला था ऐसा नहीं तो देवल टेल देर इश्यूज टू मी सर आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन दम द एंटायर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इंश्योरेंस इन टू लाइन कि अच्छा आप लोग बस दो मिनट मेरा बात सुनिए कि इंश्योरेंस क्या होता है इतने इतने एक्सीडेंट्स हो रहे हैं देश भर में हम लोग एक डेटा उन लोगों को बता सकते हैं कि तो आपको क्या लगता है इतना सारा पैसा कहाँ से आएगा सरकार तो ये पैसा नहीं दे सकती है आप लोग जो दस रुपए मंदिर में जाके दान देते हैं आप ये समझिए कि आपका ये बारह रुपए किसी और के परिवार को अगर क्षति पहुंचता है तो वो ये मदद करेगा और दीदी बारह रुपए तो आप हर दिन आपके बच्चे दस रुपए का चिप्स या फिर चॉकलेट खाकर खर्च कर देते तो बारह रुपए आप अपने आप अपने आप को सुरक्षा देने के लिए नहीं खर्च कर सकते दीदी बस साल में आपका बारह रुपया ही तो जाएगा तो फिर भी वहां पे कुछ महिलाएं जो होगी वो मेरी बात को समझ लेगी तो मैं कोशिश करूंगी कि अब उन लोगों का इस्तेमाल करके बाकी जो महिलाएं जो लगाट जो थोड़ी लेट से समझेंगी उनको समझाने की कोशिश करूंगी ठीक है एंड वॉट अबाउट यूर सीनियर्स Yes sir. So uh, whenever it comes to my seniors, sir, first I will uh, listen to whatever they are trying to say and what is the intent of the policy making. Okay. And about your ministers. Yes sir. So sir, when whenever it comes to ministers, I will try to understand the intent. कि what is the intent? Why they want certain thing to be done in my district? And so later on, I will try to convey one or two implementational challenges that why sir it is not happening. And I will try to take help from them. that uh, if you could help me uh, sir in this manner then i think this uh, can be done in a larger scale okay last question from the board yes, mahila kaam par se aati hai aur kaam par jati hai what is your take yes sir uh, so but isme bas do hi difference hai ki pehla sir ki un logo ko uh, unke kaam ka bas mahatva nahi milta hai dusre mein unpaid care at home That you talked about, but उसमें भी होता है सर कैन यू इलेबोरेट इट दिस सेंटेंस महिला काम पर से आती है और फिर काम पे जाती है yes, so, sir, uh, first is they are working in fields all day. or in manrega as workers mm. and then they are coming back home and then they are providing food to their food for their children and also for husband so i believe but if women are respected for their work this is uh, a feminine energy and we women are made to care for others so this is a good aspect okay your interview is over you may go now thank you sir how you feel I missed certain uh, basic current affairs. Nice. Yes. आप वो देख लेना कोई इतना बड़ा इश्यू नहीं है ठीक है ना बहुत सारी चीजें पॉजिटिव हैं और इस पॉजिटिव ग्राउंड पे मैं कह सकता हूँ कब सिलेक्शन हो जाएगा इसलिए उस सिलेक्शन के लिए अब आप फाइट नहीं करनी है आपको आपको फाइट करनी है आपकी रैंक के लिए जो आपको चाहिए जैसे आपने बिहार एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सर्विस के लिए आपने योर फर्स्ट चॉइस इज बिहार एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सर्विस क्या अच्छा है पहले तो नॉलेज आपका अच्छा है ठीक है हर चीज हर आदमी को पता हो ये जरूरी नहीं है लेकिन जितना भी है वो सॉलिड है एक्सप्रेशन बॉडी लैंग्वेज प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ योर आंसर वॉइस मॉड्यूल फेस एक्सप्रेशन ये सारी चीजें बहुत पॉजिटिव हैं, ठीक है और मैं जो लास्ट का आपने आंसर बताया ना बहुत बहुत कम लोग होते हैं जो उसको एलाबोरेट कर पाते हैं कि महिला काम पे काम से आती है और फिर काम पे चली जाती है कि फील्ड वर्क है और फिर वो घर पे आती है और फिर काम पे लग जाती है और फिर काम से फिर काम पे अगले दिन चली जाती है तो बहुत अच्छा आंसर था और आंसर क्या मैंने आपको अच्छा बता दूं कि आप दस रुपए मंदिर में ले सकते हो ठीक है तो आप अपनी पॉलिसी के लिए क्यों नहीं बारह रुपए जमा कर सकते हो वो भी बहुत अच्छा लॉजिक था ठीक है ना लेकिन वो एक बात कहेंगे कि भगवान पर हमें भरोसा है उसका आंसर क्या होगा सर आप अपने भरोसा को बनाए रखिए मगर गांव में होता है ना सर कि कोऑपरेशन पे बहुत भरोसा करते हैं वो लोग सॉलिडारिटी है कि किसी के घर में डेथ हो जाता है तो सारे लोग खाना पहुंचाते हैं वो इमोशन को हम लोग यूज कर सकते हैं कि भगवान पे भी भरोसा रखिए और आप 
गांव को भी और दूसरी चीज मैंने क्वेश्चन पूछा था नहीं एक और पॉजिटिव मैंने बताता हूँ कि आप डिफरेंट सेक्शन ऑफ सोसाइटी से कैसे कम्युनिकेट करोगे दैट वाज द वंडरफुल आंसर बहुत अच्छा आंसर था कि उसमें एक चीज थी कि आपने उस लेमैन की फीलिंग को समझा उनके क्या प्रॉब्लम्स हैं वो प्रशासन से कैसे बात करते हैं वो बहुत अच्छा आंसर था ठीक है और एक चीज मैं सबको सजेस्ट करना चाहूंगा हमने क्वेश्चन पूछा था कि कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटी में डेयरी सेक्टर में हर जगह सक्सेसफुल है बिहार में भी है यहाँ भी सुधा और बहुत सारे गाँव है आपके यहाँ झारखंड में भी है वहां तो सुधा ही चलता है थी हाँ सर सुधा है मेधा भी चलता हाँ मेधा मेधा यस राइट ठीक है मैं रांची में कम से कम सात आठ साल रहा हूँ सर एक्चुअली क्या है ना हम लोग मतलब पापा का तो जॉब रांची में था बट गांव मेरा बिहार ही है खगड़िया अच्छा तो सर हम लोग गाँव वाँव हमेसे आते रहते बहुत ज्यादा तो नहीं मगर कभी कभी ठीक है ना इंटरव्यू देना एक कला होती है आप जो जानते हो ना उसे रेट चीज एक बार फेंक दो ठीक है फिर उसके इर्द गिर्द क्वेश्चन बोर्ड ट्राइज करता है वो प्री, प्री डिसाइडेड होकर के नहीं बैठता कि क्या आपसे पूछना है हमें जो आप बोलोगे उसी में से हम कुछ निकाल लेते हैं हमें भी कुछ नहीं पता था आपने जब बोला कि डेयरी सेक्टर में सर कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटी तो मैंने कहा भाई इसमें फूड ग्रेन में क्यों नहीं वो कर पाते हैं ठीक है तो ये थोड़ा सा आप इसको देख लीजिएगा समथिंग विच इज एवरी You need to be keen observer as an officer. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. है ना? Observe mentality and of course is you have a wonderful personality. आपका जो बोलने का तरीका है वो अच्छा officer like है. So all good and all best. All so the best for you. Actually, with codex and the mentality, I read in perfections uh, notes also. It uh, was there. Uh, But sir, uh, uh, newspaper भी नहीं पढ़ा? Sir, I will. I'm sorry. अच्छा कोई बात नहीं कोई बात नहीं. It will not go against you. No, so you're right. Not answer. answering a question will not. Opinion. Okay. What makes a difference between ordinary interview and a good interview is your opinion on opinion-based question. How nicely have you spoken? Try, try avoiding negative aspects and emphasize on what government has done because you are going into government machinery. So criticism to try avoid. Okay. 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 Okay.